Okay, here we're going to do another example of an integral with an even power of secant. And kind of the trick on these, uh, we can make a u substitution work. Notice if we let u equal tangent x, uh, du would be secant squared x dx. So that means, you know, we would still have secant squared left over, but we can get rid of that just using our trig identity. So I'm going to write this as secant squared x times tangent to the sixth power of x. And then our other secant squared x, I'm just going to put over here. Again, you don't have to do this step, but I like to write it out. It makes it a little bit uh, clearer to myself. So recall that 1 plus tangent squared x, that equals secant squared x. So that's going to be the identity we're going to use here. So we're just going to replace our secant squared. We'll replace the secant squared with 1 plus tangent squared. Okay, uh, we'll still leave our tangent, you know, to the 6th alone and our secant squared uh, alone. And now this is where we can do our u substitution again. So I'm going to let u equal just tangent of x. Our du will be secant squared x dx. So again, our du is going to get taken care of uh, with this by the... Uh, secant squared x dx will take care, uh, will get taken care of by our du, and then we can just plug the u in everywhere. So we'll have 1 plus u squared, um, tangent to the 6th will be, well, u to the 6th du, and now I'm just going to distribute things out, so we'll have u to the 6th plus u to the 8th du, and when we integrate we'll get u to the 7th over 7, plus u to the 9th over 9, plus c, and again, last but not least, we'll just drop our original substitution back in. So it says we'll get 1 7th tangent of x raised to the 7th, plus 1 9th tangent of x raised to the 9th, plus c, and um, now we are finished. So again, kind of common theme, again, just using uh, uh, u, or u substitutions and trig identities.